Hi, so Waves have just released a new plugin and it's called Waves Curves Resolve. And it's a plugin that is meant to resolve conflicts between tracks in a mix. And if you're quick to get it, it's free for the first 48 hours after release. So let's have a look and check it out. So like I said in the intro, the new plugin is called Waves Curves Resolve. And it's a plugin that does frequency dependent ducking between two tracks in a mix. For example, if you want to make room in your bass track for the kick drum, or another use case would be if you want to make room for your vocal in a track where you have lots of thick synthesizer sounds. So let's actually check out that last example, because this is a bit of a pop track. And as you can hear, it has vocals and synths. If I let you listen to just the vocals and the synths, you get this. In the city lights, when dreams come alive, if I'm in rhythm, no more compromise. Now you might hear that the vocals and the synths are actually in the way of each other a little bit. So this is where Waves Curve Resolve comes in. So the idea is that you put this plugin on the synth track. And since I want to make room in the synth track for the vocals, I need to feed the vocals to the sidechain of the plugin. So let's take the vocals from the Leadfox sum group, enable the sidechain, and then play the track and push learn. In the city lights, when dreams come alive, if I'm in rhythm, no more compromise, the echoes of doubt. So as you can see, it has now learned the vocal sound and we can now carve out the synths when the vocals are singing and also just in the conflicting frequencies. And with this knob over here, we can determine how much we want to carve out the synths. So let's try that. In the city lights, when dreams come alive, if I'm in rhythm, no more compromise, the echoes of doubt are fading away. So let's listen to the difference with and without the plugin, starting without. In the city lights, when dreams come alive, if I'm in rhythm, no more compromise. The echoes of doubt are fading away. I'm rewriting the script. Yes, yeah, so you can really hear how this plugin makes room for the vocal even through the thick synth layer. And it does this very quickly by just using the learn function. But you can also control this more manually, of course. So let's have a look at some of the other controls. And let's just do this with audio so I can talk over it. So in the top display, you can see basically the signal that's going to the side chain, which is the vocal in this case. And in the bottom display, you can see the signal of the track that I'm applying the plug into. So the synth in this case. And in blue, you can see here where the synth is ducked based on the vocal input. You can also see the resulting changes in the synth sound over here, where orange is the resulting curve and the gray part is the original curve. So it ducks out quite a lot in exactly the right frequencies. Now you can can also influence which part of the sidechain is used for processing synth track. For example, you can do that by using a tilt EQ here, which tilts around this frequency. But maybe something which is more recognizable is that you can limit the frequency range that is used from the sidechain to duck the target signal. Now in this case we started by learning, but what we can also do is we can also take a momentary snapshot of the sidechain if we don't want to average it out over a larger period, which is what learning is doing. And we can also actually input an audio file for learning instead of having it based on the sidechain. Now at the bottom over here you can see that you can set the plugin to process dynamically or steady. And when you set it to steady it basically processes based on the fixed snapshot created by learning or freezing. And when you set it more to dynamic it takes into account more the momentary changes of the signal that are happening and this value is also set initially based on the learning but you can of course vary it later where steady gives a more mild not so much influenced by the momentary signal and dynamic is more yeah well dynamic it changes more now you can also give the plugin a bit of a hint about what kind of signal there is on the side chain. You can tell it that it's vocal. And in that case, you can see that there are four frequency bands shown here. And the amount of ducking in the various frequency bands can be set by these level controls over here. So that you can actually tell it to duck less or more for a certain frequency band. For example, this way, it's ducking less in this frequency band. This way, it's ducking more in this frequency band. Now there's also a special ducking mode here. And as you can see, this basically ducks the whole signal full range in a dynamic way, but it doesn't take the frequency content of the sidechain into account in this case. 
but you can of course still use these sliders to duck more or less in a certain frequency band. Now by now, if you like this video or find it useful at all, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so that it gets shown to more people. Subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you know when I post another video. For even more support, you can use the super thanks button below the video, which is kind of a virtual tip jar. Or if you want to buy anything at one of these online stores, you can use the affiliate links in the description. And if you click one of those links before you buy anything at that store, I will get a small commission without any additional cost to you, which really supports this channel and it's a win-win situation. But let's get back to Waves Curves Resolve. Now there are also a couple of advanced controls here. You can use the attack and the release to determine how quickly the compressor actually works on dynamic changes in the sidechain signal. And the precision is used to determine how wide the frequency bands are that are ducked. So you can see over here now that these frequency ranges are much more precise. They are basically thinner and sharper. And if you set it to zero, these frequency ranges are much more mild. There's an auto makeup gain if you want it. You can also determine the stereo processing, whether the processing occurs according to the summation of left and right signal or whether process left and right individually, or whether the output processing is based on mid-side, depending on how you set this slider over here. There's also a true peak limiter at the end to prevent overs and clipping. And there's a follow sidechain button over here, which when toggled off the reduction also occurs even without an incoming sidechain signal, similar to how regular dynamic EQ works. But when you have it on, it's basically responsive unmasking so that you only get reduction when there's actually a conflict. So what do you think of this new Waves plugin? Are you going to get it? I would say free is a pretty strong driver there, especially if you don't have a plugin like this in your collection yet. And in the short time that I've had to play around with it, I have to say it works quite well. It's nice to have that automatic learn button so that you have almost a hands-off mode. But if you then want to dig in further, you can definitely do that with all the other controls as well as all the advanced controls. I'll put a link to the plugin in the description if you want to get it. And again, it's free for the first 48 hours only after which it will likely be a paid plugin. Now I also did a review of the Waves Curves Equator plugin, which is also a very interesting plugin. And I will link that video over here. Check it out, enjoy, and see you soon.